Thanks for watching. This video is about importing a DST file into the IDS program. A DST file is a machine ready file that can be stitched out regardless if you bring it into embroidery software. We can bring it directly into the machine, but this is how we bring it into the software should we want to edit the design, add lettering, change colors, so on and so forth. Many times we will get designs from a stock design CD or stock design collection and the stock design collection that I'm going to use is on a CD so I'm going to go ahead and pop that into my computer and when I pop that into my computer my computer is going to automatically pop up a window that will ask me what I want to do with the software or with what's on the CD when that window pops up in this design CD I'm going to first look for the catalog or the table of contents and when I click on um, the CD drive I want to open the files and the file folders so I'll go ahead and click on open folder to view files if you don't do it that way you can always go to the start menu and open up computer and then open up the CD package with this one I'm going to double click to open the full catalog of images and here it gives me the table of contents this is going to tell me what categories are on what pages of this catalog so I'm going to go ahead and open this cover and table of contents this is opening in my Microsoft Works program if you have Microsoft Word it might open that as that as this is a DOC file format so we're gonna have go ahead and open this up and when it opens up it gives me a table of contents of what pages are associated with what categories so you can see here that aircraft is associated on page one animals and birds are associated on page two cats on page 10. So as we scroll through here I'm looking for a design that maybe has to do with gymnastics. So within gymnastics that's in my sports category and the subcategory is called gymnastics so I'm going to look at page 261. Let's go ahead and go back to my folder. We're going to scroll down and find page 261. So scroll through here and as I find that page we're going to double click on that and now I can see there's my gymnastics I can see each design has a file name associated with it I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and I would like G002 so that's the one that I'd like to import and it's under sports gymnastics so we'll go to IDS, we'll go to the import function. I'm just going to use import one. When I left click on import one, my import dialog box will come up. I am importing DST files. I will want to use the CD drive at the top. I choose the D drive, which on my computer, that is what my CD drive is labeled. The next box down will show me what the drive location is as well as what file folders open. I have the borders and braids file folder open. I want to go back just to the D drive so I double click on the D drive. We're going to scroll down and we're going to find sports. We'll double click on sports and then I'm going to find that subcategory of gymnastics. Let's go ahead and double click on gymnastics. I wanted G002 so I left click on that as the third box down is going to show me what files are in that folder. Once I select it I'll hit import. Once I click import it'll bring that design into my screen. So now I have that design inside the IDS program. So just to review um, how we would find a design that we would like to import 
and bring it into the software. We'll go to the table of contents. I am just going to go ahead and uh, look at the floral um, category and that's on page 102. So I am going to open up pages one, page 102, scroll up, I'll double click to open up page 102 and actually floral has quite a few designs. Let me maybe go to the next page, page 103, 104, and you can see that my actual categories change. It went from floral 1 to floral 2. I have floral 3, and let's say in floral 3 I'd like to bring in file G017. So let's go back to IDS. I'm going to go ahead and go to a new design. We'll import. I'll left click on the import button. and we'll double click, it's already on the D drive as specified but I need to get to the floral category so I'll double click on D we'll scroll down and we're going to be on floral 3 and let me look at that page again, I already forget <laughs> what uh, number it is, it's G017 so I'm going to scroll down and find G017 There it is. I left click on it to select it and then select import. When I select import, that selects that design and brings it right into the program.